let's take a moment to think about uh, system D. So this part of the assignment is just making sure you're set up to do it and almost everyone will be now. It, it, there was a transfer between an old system called Upstart and System D that took place now several years ago so it's it's done now. You don't need to worry about that. The first thing you need to think about is making sure that you create a symbolic link to wherever your project is. Um, <clears throat> I've already created the link and I give you here the line that you would typically use to create it but I can show you in my bin directory what, a, what the link looks like after it's been created. You can see the link, the symbolic link itself is in my bin directory <clears throat> and it points to the location of my project. Um, the one thing to note about it is that we're going to write a configuration file which you have to get exactly right and you don't want to mess with a file once you've got it working so we create and we yet we could at some point move the location of our program around <clears throat> also the path to our location is quite long while the path to our symbolic link is short and easy to get right in this file which has many places where things could go wrong so we want to work use short things and we want not to have to edit again. So if we did move Node Root Basic someplace else, <clears throat> then we could just change our symbolic link and we wouldn't have to mess with a script file. So we create this symbolic link using this code shown right here or something similar to it if the program you're using is not called Node Root Basics. And you might also choose another name for your symbolic link if your program is not called Node Root Basics. <clears throat> Then we build this thing called the configuration file or the unit file or the service file. It seems every place I go on the web gives it another name and they all claim to be the official place. We want to provide in the unit section a short description and then it seems to me now like the right thing to do is to say run ours after the network's been set up. I, I wish I understood this line better. Okay, the next thing we want to do is say how we're going to start our program. Quite often our programs start by running npm start. That's how we start them. But in my program, npm start runs nodemon, which I love for development, but which isn't right for deployment. So instead of writing um, npm start or anything else, I just write node and I point right at the thing that I wanted to start, which is my bin ww. This only works because we've established our working directory, which is the directory where our program is stored. Referencing the symbolic link is the same thing as referencing the place where our program is stored. Then you want to um, make sure you've got your user and your group set up right. If you're running on Ubuntu, you write it this way, and you, you're again, you're here. If you were on um, BC user, then instead of Ubuntu, you'd be writing BC user. Finally, you want to establish a port. And to establish the port, you're going to want to have some code in um, Ben WW, which looks a lot like this. So you're um, you're changing the code, which is by default process.environment.port to some port that you're going to specify for this program because you're already probably already using plain old port for some other purpose. Um, <clears throat> then once you've got your file set up right, you can copy it to um, your etc system d system directory and then you enable it with this command and you start it with this command notice that all of these use sudo um, you can get the status of your program with this command and you can um, read about any journaling output 
error logs, success logs, any outputs your program has created by running journal control dash u and then the little short system syslog identifier that you created here. Um, I like to have some scripts. I do something funny because I've got one that I want to run on Ubuntu, one that I might want to run on BC user, one that I might want to run on my home machine, which is with the user's Charlie. I create, instead of nrb.service, I create nrb-charlie.service. <clears throat> and then here, I've written a script which copies that to um, the correct directory, the systemd system directory. Or I could change it to copy the Ubuntu one to that directory, depending on what machine it is. Then I enable it, then I start it, then I get the status. Um, here's a script for starting the service, and here's one for stopping the service. There's a little error there. I'll fix that later in the formatting. So let's go see how this all works in practice. So here's my copy and RB script and I run it like this copy and RB and it copies it over probably in order to do that correctly I should have I had it running already so I should stop my service so now it's stopped now I can do my copy and RB that's more the way it'll look for you since it's not already running and then if I want to I can do my general control on URB. It starts at the top of your file and so you want to press Shift G, capital G, and that takes you to the end. And you can see our last commands was, remember I did a stop and now I've started it, which almost certainly implies that it's running. If we scroll, well, if I scroll up in the file, sometimes you can see these error messages failed to start. And sometimes you'll see, you know, even a better message, you know, like nodemon not found, which really tells you what's wrong. And so you, you want to look through these fi files and try to figure out, you can see just how dumb I am. I keep making the same mistake over and over again, trying to figure out why it won't work. So, um, There we are. So that has it. And then, of course, once you've got it running, you might want to go and check that it actually is running, right, by going to the port that we set up here. I don't know what else. I, I think that's all I really want to say about um, trying to get these puppies started. I, I think I'm obsessed enough that I want to make that correction in the middle of this video, which is totally the wrong time to do it. Here, I'd forgotten that. Okay, so here's the start service, and here's the stop service scripts. I want to emphasize the importance of these scripts it's just to, you know, sudo system control enable nrb.service. What could be simpler than typing that? <clears throat> it just is more than you want to type sometime. Write the scripts, be lazy, create the scripts, simplify the process. Focus on getting the darn, well, let's go back now to our, focus on getting the darn, script right, right? Make sure you've got everything here right. Make sure you've got everything here right. Your working directory is very important that it gets set up properly. You've got to have that symbolic link. It's got to work. It's doable. This thing isn't really that hard. You've just got to know the pieces. You might also want to read through this section later 
on XX Start. There's actually several options that you have here, and I discuss them right here, but I'm not going to. This video has gone on way too long. All right, I'm stopping.